Okay, we're going to graph y equals tangent of x. First of all, let's recall that tangent is the y value over the x value. Okay, so if we take and look at the y value over the x value for a few of these spots, well, first of all, tangent of 0 is going to be 0 over 1, the y over the x. So 0 over 1 graphs. Easy. It's your origin. Okay, next, let's figure out, first of all, uh, tangent also, the period is pi, unlike sine and cosine, which is a normal period is 2 pi. So I'm going to go cut this into quarters, and we have a half pi over here, and a half pi over here. Okay, and so this would be a quarter pi, and this would be negative quarter pi. All right, so we got one point as 0, 0. Next, let's check the other point. This is like tangent of 45 degrees. Tangent of 45 degrees, remember, the y over the x is going to be the same number over itself. It's going to be 1. This is kind of nice. So, if we say at the 45 degree angle, we are at 1. Alright, next, we can do the next one. And at 90 degrees, or pi over 2, well, that's 1 over 0. The y over the x is 1 over 0. Well, this is a problem because this is undefined. Undefined lines form an asymptote. We have an asymptote right there at 90 degrees or pi over 2. All right, so we have this graph. It looks like it's going to curve up to here. We'll take and kind of do that. Looks like that. Let's do the other side. Okay, we're here at negative pi over 4, or negative 45 degrees. And that also is this number over this number, the y over the x, which turns out to be negative 1. So we graph that. We're at negative 1 here. And there we go. Kind of like the amplitude here is at our 45 degree angle, or right in the middle of our, amp our asymptote and origin is our amplitude. And then next we can say negative 1 over 0 is also undefined. Let's graph that as an asymptote. So now we know that this goes on and on and on. There's our tangent graph. Okay, so also, just remember, this goes on and on. So we have something that looks like this, and this, and this would continue on, and this would look like this, and this, and it would continue on. So this is going to go on and on forever, just like the sine wave goes on and on forever. Okay, how about we graph this one? y equals 5 tangent of 1 third x. All right, well, from what we learned before, we have pi divided by our angular speed, which turns out to be 3 pi as our period. Okay, so this is important when we're drawing our graph. Remember, we go half the period one direction and, and the other half the other way. So our quarter points um, are going to be 3 pi over 4 away. So our quarter points 3 pi over 4. Okay, that means that this is 1 and a half pi. We have the same on the other side. Negative 3 fourths pi. And negative 1 and a half pi. This is part of the difficulty of this. We know our asymptotes go on either end. Now we also know that our amplitude is here. We are at halfway in between our middle and our first asymptote. We have 
our amplitude. And we're at zero here, middle down here, and you kind of see it. There's our tangent graph. Okay, we're going to do the cotangent graph. And that, remember, is x over y. So let's take a look at all the x over y values here. First of all, we got 1 over 0. That's our asymptote. That's undefined. This will be square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2, which is 1. I'm going to put this in red. Okay, next we would have 0 over 1. That's 0. We have negative square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2, which is negative 1. I'm going to put 1 and negative 1 here. And then lastly, we have negative 1 over 0, which is undefined. Okay, so you can see how our graph is going to look like this for cotangent.